Did you know that you can make really original and fun animated GIFs using an application that comes free on every Mac? Keynote is good for more than just making presentations. To get started, open Keynote and create a new presentation. Just a simple one will be fine. Delete any unnecessary text and choose a background color. When you're ready to insert some images, you can go up to the edit menu and choose emoji and symbols. And you'll see there are a lot of fun little pictographs that you can choose from, as well as all of the emoji that we're all so familiar with. Keep in mind with these, if you want to resize them, it thinks of it as text, basically as a font. And so you need to just increase the size of that text in order to make it bigger. You can also use photos in your animated GIF. For this one, I wanted to use the shapes that come with Keynote because they're really cute, really cool. You can customize them and change the colors of them. So if you just go to shape, you can see all the different categories, find one that you like, you can resize them, and you can just choose the color fill to change the way they look. Oh, and here's a nice tip that you can use in any application. The little eyedropper down there will allow you to choose the color that's in another part of the image and make that your current active paint color or fill color. Even if you're not really sure what kind of animated GIF you want to make when you start, just scrolling through all these fun shapes will probably give you some ideas. Here's another good tip for working with color. When you have a color that you think you might be using in another point throughout the same project, you can add it to your swatches at the bottom there. Just drag it and drop it into the swatches palette and then you'll be able to access it easily anytime. You can rotate objects and change their order in the Arrange tab on the right. And in the Style tab, you can adjust the opacity, like make something translucent, transparent, opaque. Uh, you can also add a drop shadow if you want or a border to a shape. Try that with the sun here, just to show you what it looks like. And I want to put kind of a simple, flat, happy face on the sun. So I'm going to go into my pictographs and just kind of put one on top there. And there are even different variations of smiley faces considered font of the pictographs. And of course you can use text. And if you feel like you'd like to get some new fonts, you can go to a website like dafont.com and download some more. So when your design is done, now you're ready to start the part that becomes the animation. So you have to kind of work backwards now. So you can start by duplicating it so that you have two identical slides with your design. And then you're going to delete from the top slide the last object to appear in your animation. Then go ahead and duplicate that slide and go to the top again. And then delete the second to last object that will appear. So just think backwards. Whatever is going to end up coming last will be deleted early. And keep duplicating and don't forget to always make sure that you're going on to the very top one. Go little by little until you have deleted everything. Now it's time to export. So scroll all the way down until you get to the very last slide in the presentation and look at that number. You want to make sure that you specify when you're exporting slide 1, 2, in this case 22, however many slides you have to make sure all of them get exported as frames of your animation. Choose extra large as your resolution. Auto advance, if you put like 2 or 3 it's probably good. You can kind of try different ones and see what you like. That will just determine how long it ends up being and how quickly or slowly it cycles through the frames. So you'll see if you open it up in preview, it doesn't look like an animation yet, it just looks like different frames, one on top of the other, because GIFs are kind of meant to be viewed on the web. So if you go open with and choose your browser, then you should be able to see the animation. I'm going to go with Safari, but you could do Chrome or any other browser. And then you can see your final animated GIF.